Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have to prove or disprove the statement. Okay, the statement is we have two matrix spaces x d and y d dash. F is a function from x to y, which is continuous and bijective also. Then for any open ball B in domain, that means x d, f of B is an open ball in y d dash, that means codomain. Okay. So actually this statement is not true. So we are going to prove the given statement is wrong. Okay. So let me mention here. We will prove that we will prove that above statement or the given statement is not true, is not true. That means here we have to find a counter example. We have to find example which will show that this statement is not true. So let us find such example. So I'm going to consider a matrix space let x domain. So my x is R set of real numbers with discrete metric D. So we are familiar with a discrete metric. It has two distances only two values d of x y is equal to 0 if points are equal and it is equal to 1 if points are distinct. We want y d dash also we want one more matrix space. Let us consider y. My y is also r but with usual metric usual metric d dash or you can say du getting. Okay, so I have two matrix spaces now x is r with a discrete matrix d and y which is r with usual matrix d dash. So its definition is d dash of x y is equal to mod x minus y. After that what we want we want a function f. So let us define one function which should be continuous as well as bijective. So I am going to define a function. So consider a function. So I am going to define a function i from x to y as which is defined as i of x is equal to x getting so it is identity function let me mention this is identity function so identity function returns the same value i of x is equal to x so very simple function i have taken but now my task is to prove it is continuous and bijective as it is uh, identity function we can clearly say it is bijective function so clearly clearly i is bijective since it is an identity function getting so now our task is to prove it is continuous function let me mention now to prove that i is continuous okay so now how to prove the function is continuous we have epsilon delta definition of continuity we have sequential criteria of continuity or we have one more thing. If you take any open set in codomain, its inverse image is open in domain, then also we can say the function is continuous. So the same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take one open set, okay? I'm going to take one open set in codomain y. Y is nothing but r and we have to prove that its inverse image is open in x. Let us do let g b an open set in y d dash okay so y means r and d dash means usual metric okay so i have taken one open set from codomain now we have to find its inverse image which is obviously subset of x implies i inverse g is equal to g itself basically because it is identity function and which is subset of x but here we have mentioned x is with discrete matrix space. So I should mention, but in a discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. So this is so much important result, which we have already proved in our previous videos. Get it? So if, if you have a discrete matrix space and if you take any set or any subset of X, definitely it is both open and closed. So I inverse G, which is subset of X and X with a discrete matrix space, getting? 
so we can say it is open set in x so therefore i inverse g is open in xd since it is a discrete matrix space we started with one open set in y and we proved its inverse image is open in x so therefore we can declare therefore i from x to y is a continuous function okay so in this way we have taken two matrix spaces xd and yd dash we have considered one function f which is nothing but i here and finally we proved it is both bijective and continuous so let us move further now we want a ball in xd okay and we have to prove that f of b is not a ball actually they are they are giving here it is an ball but we have to prove it is not true so that's why we have to find one example of a ball in xd whose image is not a ball in yd dash okay so let us find a ball so consider consider in matrix space xd i am going to find one ball b okay so i'm going to consider a ball with center 0 what is our x x is a set of real numbers okay so 0 is a real number and radius i'm taking it is half so let us find this ball now okay so this ball uh, i will simply follow the definition of ball x belongs to x or you can say r r getting such that d of x a less than uh, here the center is 0 so i should write here 0 less than its radius which is half where d is a discrete matrix getting so let us continue x belongs to x such that we know that in a discrete matrix space there are two distances only 0 and 1 here we are getting distance less than half that means definitely the distance is 0 so i should mention here d of x 0 is 0 see distance between two points is zero that means both points are equal so x belongs to x or r you can write here so distance between two points is zero that means both of them are equal so x is equal to zero getting so this this is a collection of points which are equal to zero that means singleton zero we will get getting so i have considered a ball in a discrete matrix space xd with center zero radius half and finally we got that ball is nothing but a singleton set 0 that means simply a center of that ball getting so finally we got a ball now we have to prove its image is not a ball in yd dash okay so i'm going to do that just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us find this image okay so uh, let me mention first so therefore b is equal to ball with center 0 radius half is equal to singleton 0 is an open ball in xd that is a discrete matrix right so now i will find its image so our function is i so f of b i will find so i of b which is equal to i of that b is this ball with center zeros and radius half so which is equal to i this ball is nothing but a singleton set zero get it so here function i is an identity function so it will return the same thing so we will have singleton 0 but see singleton 0 the, the, which is a subset of y getting which is a subset of y so singleton 0 is not an open set so that's why we cannot say it cannot be an open ball okay since in a usual matrix space so here here singleton 0 is not an open ball in y d dash since it is a usual distance no that is y means what r and d dash is a usual distance so we can represent in this way also d so it is not an open ball even it is not an open set also okay so that's why we can say it's not an open ball so therefore i of b is not an open ball in y d dash so finally we got an example getting two matrix spaces x d and y d dash function f which is continuous and bijective b is open ball in x d but f of b is not an open ball in y d dash so therefore we can say therefore the above statement is not true so let me conclude here therefore above statement 
is not true is not true in this way we completed this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you